Hi, welcome back to the Dark Reflections Customs channel here on YouTube. And today I'm going to be showing you a Syntec Computer Safe Automotive Logic Probe. And basically, it's my favorite uh, tool around the shop to use to test fuses. And the reason is, is it does two polarities. It does it shows positive and negative polarity, meaning it shows you both sides of the circuit. Now, it comes with alligator clips, so basically you install it to the battery. Red's positive, look for a plus sign on your battery. On this truck here, it's the left one. And then the other post, uh, minus sign, is your ground, so put it on there. And it comes with a cord, which is a bungee style cord, and you can stretch it over to whatever you're working on. I'm going to be working on the fuse box over here. Give me a second to get set up, and I'll show you how this... All right, so after it's connected to the battery, I come here to the fuse box, and here's... Well, this vehicle has two of them. It has an underhood and it has an inside dash uh, fuse box also. So if you're looking for a problematic fuse, you need to check uh, every fuse the vehicle has. You can usually find the information in your owner, owner's manual. Um, and so I'll show you basically what happens here. I'm on the big 30 amp fuse here, and if I touch this one side, it lights up red. That means it's got positive current to it. Touch the other side, it's also red. If it has the same color on both sides, your fuse is actually good. And then I'm going to go move on to all the other fuses here under the hood and check them one by one on both ends and they should light up the same color. If you actually light up red on one side and uh, green on the other, that fuse is bad. Um, if you light up, you know, if the two colors don't match on both sides, your fuse is bad. So sometimes you'll actually have it where you'll probe one side, it'll be red, and then the other side won't light up at all. That is an indication of a bad fuse. Uh, some circuits on the vehicles are not on unless the truck is running. With this type of light, you can actually check it without the ignition having to be on or the vehicle running in most cases. Like these little fuses here, red on both sides, red on both sides, uh, red on both sides. So all the fuses here are good. Now there's three left up here in the front, and this is what's interesting. Watch this. Green. It doesn't mean your fuse is no good unless both sides don't light up green. So this one here, both sides are green. That fuse has got current going through it, or a completed circuit in other words. This other one here also has green on both sides. Once again, green on both sides. So. Just a standalone price of what this unit costs, this light. I mean, it's so inexpensive, I believe it was $10. And unlike a normal test light, we just have the one light bulb and you know that the current is hot and that's it. You don't know if you have ground. Well, electricity takes two things to happen. It takes power and ground. So if the loop is not completely made, then the system will not operate. Now I use it here on the fuses and I'm going to be making a couple other videos on what else I use this for which is probably used for quite a bit of electrical troubleshooting when I do have it. But as of now I would move to the inside and do the same thing. I would look at all the fuses on both terminals. And some fuses like these tinies right here, these tiny ones, they, they are hard to, uh, sometimes you even have to kind of pierce them a little bit and that's what's good about the tip being pointed to make the connection. Um, just getting it in the right spot and you'll know and that eliminates you having to take them out one by one and looking at them which I know a lot of people still do and sometimes I've seen it quite a few times where you remove a fuse and it's got a hairline crack but you can't really see it with your physical eye so then you test it and you find out it's bad so of course every electrical system the first thing you want to check if something's not operating is a fuse so I think for a $10 investment this should be in everybody's toolbox just because the fact that Look how easy that was to test it right now. Literally a, a couple of minutes, and I, I know that all the fuses under the hood are good. Now I can move. I, I can make another video and show you the inside fuses, but it's the same process. And like I said before, you just look in your owner's manual. And it's going to tell you where your fuses are, and sometimes the owner's manuals will tell you wh what they go to. And a lot of times, the inside of the fuse panel will tell you what the fuses and relays are for. So you'll know. Like if you want to make it even shorter, you could just go back and look. It here and see okay my brake lights aren't working look for the brake fuse and see if it's here or see if it's on the inside and then just check that one particular fuse and just match up the 
diagram to the way it looks as far as the layout under the hood. Now I'll be making a few other videos showing some troubleshooting on this like I said before. Um, I actually just used the same test light to troubleshoot a stereo system in a vehicle. So, uh, you know, subscribe to my channel. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like what you're seeing. And um, look forward to making some more videos and giving you some inform inform informative information. Thank you.